I know what you're going to say. I've gone back. Which is half true. Only for the week. Uh, apparently one of the boys is on holiday. He rang me up, said, Scott, can you cover for a week? And I was like, yeah, why not? But we're doing these again. Fence posts, lovely, smelly fence posts. And um, slight bit of overhang on that one. Uh, yeah, there's another bearer there and the one bearer there. If that middle one wasn't there, I probably wouldn't risk that one. Anyway, a couple of extra straps. A couple of extra straps, it's all right, it's all right. I wasn't going to record today, but <laughs> I feel like there'll be some dramas. Good world gone bad. Right, well, I'm on the M25, because I've come all the way down south from Grimsby. Uh, so A1, M1, blah, 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 M25. And I thought I was saying go down the M3. I'm thinking go down the M4, because we're heading to Wokingham, which is not far off either one, really. And this is the reason I decided to do this video, because uh, I don't think this is going to end very well, one way or the other. <laughs> I strongly get the feeling I am going to fail this drop, for one, because I better look on Google, as you do, because I don't think I'm getting up that lane. And um, you ain't no problem. It's only five packs to this drop. Just bring the tally handler down the road, take them off one by one. No, we're not offloading my tally handler. We're offloading my excavator. That's gonna take a bit more time. You know what the worst thing is? I wasn't even meant to do this drop. I had a full load to Cowbridge. You know that really, really tight one? That one. Full load to there. I thought, all right, full load, happy days. Ah, uh, there was space for a few packs on top, wasn't there? So they had to put some on. Another reason why I don't think this is going to go well, because they're on top. I'm not sure this excavator will be able to lift that. I'm, oh my god, I'm actually an hour late. I knew it was going to be late, but I didn't think I was going to be this late. Jesus. I was meant to be there 15 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, so this is going to be fun. Let's see what this turns out like. Right. Traffic. On top of these kind of roads trees over the top, a little bit narrow for two trucks sometimes, but generally okay. That's what I've had on the way down. Uh, apparently my turning is half a mile away, but I can't make it because I, 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 I need to turn right and not left because turning left is like sharp left and no, 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 no. Here. Okay, we'll give it a go. Right, next question. Can I turn around this mini roundabout? It's got railings here. No. No, let's be safe and say no. Right, apparently there's a roundabout up here somewhere. Right, it's so coming back here. This is going to be awkward. Because I need to keep maybe on the other side of the road to make the left turn into the next roundabout so as I don't mount the pavement with my trailer and potentially take up pedestrians. I'm slightly on pavement either way. Oh no, just about missed it. There we are. I'm gonna park it here and walk it up. I do not like the look of that. Right, so we tried offloading with that. By the way, I'm somewhere completely different now because I was not putting my truck up that lane. It's not even my truck anymore. But anyway, we tried lifting that off. Well, well we shifted it to the side to get a bit more room there. And then we realized this ain't gonna work. So someone's calling a favor to get a tally handler now. Okay, well that was 
drama. Was it drama? Was it really? Was it any worse than what I've had before? Not really. Apart from the fact that I refused to go up the lane. But apparently he also says, uh, I completely understand what you mean. Because we have had attics up this road before. We have never had trees this low. <laughs> and uh, an attic hasn't been up there for quite a few years, so... Okay, I, I feel like I was a bit more justified then. I could have made it up, but I would have scratched the hell out of the lorry. Also, this road is a bit narrow. Hmm. Interesting. Satnav is telling me to turn right. Directions given by the man there said turn left, but that was to get me back to the, where I was before. I don't necessarily want to be where I was before, because that's the wrong way. So do I risk it for a biscuit to follow the satnav? It's a bit low here as well. Not terribly low, but... That's me daydreaming. Yeah, he said turn... Hang on. This way, definitely this way. Because that sign said A30. A road, that's what we need. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, green houses. Well, we've got a cow bridge now, which uh, I've done it. I've done cow bridge about five times now. I know the crack with cow bridge. Good people in cow bridge, actually. Burger van outside cow bridge. What time am I gonna get? Oh, crap, I need a, oh, I need a break. Oh, damn it. Oh, hello, Travis Perkins. You've passed me earlier. But there's an air road coming up. I see it on my sat nav. Happy days, happy days. Squeeze. Squeeze. Not a problem, not a problem. We squeezed, we squeezing, we squeezing. Yes, oh, um, the guy, after we finished, the guy was saying, yeah, um, after he's done there with that job, he's gonna go online and definitely find a set of pallet forks for his duck. <laughs> yeah, mate, would have made this job a lot easier. Well, maybe not easier, but quicker. Yeah, because like I said, uh, I walked up the road, met the guys. I could have definitely got the lorry up there. I could have definitely got the lorry turned around. No problem at all. Apart from the trees. The trees were very low. And you can, you've seen on the roads that has taken me down here and taken me away from here. But the trees are quite low, so imagine what they are on a farm track, you know what I mean? High vehicles don't need to go down that track very often, so the trees are not trimmed back. But I don't want damage on Mr. Green's truck. Ah, Cowbridge. I was going to put the camera on my head for this one. Give you that POV style. Not that kind of POV style. <laughs> you know what I mean. But uh, I seem to have forgotten my mount, so let me know in the comments. Would you like a bit of more head cam? It's not really something I've done a lot. If you guys remember this one from a previous video, you know, you, you know what we're in for. Not sure if it was the last time or the time before I did this one. Didn't record. But I was just in all oh, around the bends like a glove. Oh, I just fit there, didn't even slow down. No, that's a lie, I slowed down a lot, but didn't even stop, is what I should have said. <laughs> oh, it was gorgeous. I got a feeling that's not gonna happen today. Mostly because full load. These don't really have a full load. It tends to be only half a load they have, and they're usually either the second to last or the last drop. This is what I was saying, I was loading this, exactly how it is, didn't take anything off, in the port, and then uh, get a phone call halfway through. Oh, have you left yet? No, still loading. Oh, good, 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 good. Can you fit five packs on? And yeah, well, that turned out the way it did. Wasn't too bad in the end. There's the no entry that I need to not go down. So it must be just after that, assuming I'm on the right side of the street. Yeah, I think I am. I did this once coming from the other direction and I messed up because I thought it was the direction it was supposed to be coming from. No, always this direction. Okay, okay, that's a red. Oh. I'm hoping that van stays put. Oh, it's busy. It's busy. It's busy. Easy. <laughs> I just heard someone shout, where's he going? Oh, 
I hear them creaking. There we go. We got that bit done. Oh, this bit's actually quite clear. This is one of those situations where I, uh, I don't even try to avoid the curbs. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Both of you come. All right, if you're waiting for me. Slightly in bush. There is no car by the Chinese takeaway today, which is good. Head for the cable. Keep turning away from cables. Just came off the curb with a bit of a smash. Headboard is not hitting cable. We're good. Woo! Drama. And of course, the car park is full, but the burger van's open. Still looking there for camera. But the burger van is open. There is not room here. There is not room here. Right, leaving here. Um, <laughs> I, oh, bloody hell. Who's ringing me now? You can wait. Just leaving here. Doing awkward manoeuvre. Took me like three, four maybe shunts to get out. And I completely forgot to put the cameras on. You know what reminded me? Some guy asking me if I was going to put that on my YouTube. <laughs> so uh, shout out to you. Uh, it wasn't my best time that time. Um, literally, as I pulled in, some, some guy in an orange Avec or 23 plate, delivering uh, gates he was. Oh, it's the one gate really. Weird gate as well, odd. He pulls in behind me and I'm like, oh, we are going to cause chaos. Anyway, like I said, he just had the one gate, so he was gone before I had the first park off. And he just did that same manoeuvre in one, no sweat at all. And there's me taking like three, four attempts. <laughs> all right, back in the yard at four o'clock. That's not too bad, actually. Yeah, back in the yard at four o'clock. I imagine I've not really done much this video because I'm not going to carry it on. So I will save these clips until I got something else to bolt onto the end. So transition and we will be probably at a completely different company. Woohoo! Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In the last video, I left you on the other side of the water all the way over there in Felixstowe. But like I said, I'm on the other side of the water, now in Harwich. We're going to lift a trailer from the port. And I was doing the same run, which I did Sunday. That's loud. Woo, that's that loud. Better turn that down. Do yeah, it. so we're doing the same run I basically did Sunday night. It's now Thursday? Question? It's now Thursday. Yes, now Thursday night. Nine o'clock. I'll pick my trailers ready. I don't see why it wouldn't be. I don't know how much cancer I'm going to get from the radiation of these scanners by doing this job. I don't know. Right, I'll go check in, find my trailer. So I dropped one off yesterday. Right, are we done? Border force seem to be out. Right, apparently it's four hours and fifteen minutes until Bristol Fruit Market. Yeah, there we go. And my blow was on as well. Made everything louder. Everything so it's like go 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 at the minute. Give it two hours because I have barely slept this afternoon. Give it two hours and I will be hanging up my bum again. Well, I'm taking it a bit easy because as I was getting the paperwork out the back of the trailer. I noticed a few boxes had already started collapsing on themselves. Yay. It's always the ones in the back. 
so as soon as we hit the motorway, we'll be all right. Oh, beauty. You beauty. Green light. Do you see that? Do you see that? I was beautiful. Yeah, we've got a full trailer. We've got Bristol Fruit Market, Cardiff Fruit Market, Bid Foods Chepstow, which is the run I did previously on Sunday night. Plus this trailer's got a few more drops on it, including Lidl in Bridgend and Castet Howell Foods in Croissants. But I'm only taking it as far as Lidl. I'm not tipping that because I'm swapping over another driver and I'm just going back to the yard. Happy days. All right, it's getting darker now, isn't it? Woohoo! Night time is the right time. Oh, it didn't take long until my night was started to go to pot. Uh, I tried to join the M25, but the slip board was shut, and I got a feeling they shut the actual carriageway as well. So I'm heading into central London, by the looks of things. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's fine. Kind of know my way-ish. Well, it's been a very long time. Well, if I go this way, I either go up the M11 to the M25 or around the North Circular. Adds a bit of time on, but... Oh well. This is my last shift as well. I'm heading home. Home-ish. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. There we go. Green light. And welcome to Bristol, people. I'm not gonna lie, it is three o'clock in the morning. And I am feeling every bit of tiredness that has been catching up with me throughout the week. Uh, three parlors to come off here, only three. Right off the back end as well, that's, that's what we like. So no messing about with pump trucks here, just straight off the forklift. I think it's only the one drop here. Might be two, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's only one. Well, I'm hoping a bit of physical activity will uh, wake me up a bit now. I'm busier than the one other time I've been here. <laughs> so he's going now. I need, to be I need to be over to my left. Find a spot to turn around. I think that guy was waiting with his fridge there for a forklift. What are you doing? You look familiar. I think he left how rich at the same time as me. Chaos, chaos, lovely chaos. I got a feeling it's gonna be cold when I get out the truck now. So this taco head goes to other work, uh, goes to rest whenever I turn the ignition off, and it really annoys me that. A lot of drivers seem to prefer that. I, I hate that. And also, I keep looking. I estimated I'd be half an hour here. Worst case scenario. And I have been here. Half an hour. So, next up, Cardiff. Only three pallets. Uh, remember when I said they were a bit leany and uh, didn't fill me with much confidence? Uh, well, it turns out they were stronger than they looked, so great success there. Yes, there was only the one drop there. There was a guy in a Scania. I thought he was Welsh. And I'm sure he was driving a foreign registered truck. It was definitely a left left hand drive anyway. And he's leaving Harris at the same time as me, and it turns out he's got you about the same time as me as well. Yeah, which makes you think, why can't I put it all on the same load? Because not my next destination in Cardiff, my one after that in Chepstow, he's going to that as well. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. No. Anyway, Cardiff, over the bridge. You know how I said I was starting to feel tired earlier? Well, the whole drop in Bristol kind of woke me up. And then on the way over here, oh, we, we, we entered the danger zone. I strongly considered pulling over. Then, 
I just felt fine, which is weird. Anyway, I'm good now. Again, weird. I think it's because it's becoming light outside. My body realizes, ah, so much for sleep. You missed your chance. Do more work. Can't tell if this is busier than the last time I was here as well. Uh, a little bit. Shut up, you. There is no roundabout. Right. Some of which are what I need is here. Uh, just park. Just park here. I think the. Yeah, I've got straight ahead of me as well. Yeah, so I've got two two drops in this place. The van moved, so now I look like I just dumped it in the middle of the road. But sorry, I'm not moving now. There's two pallets to this one, three pallets to that one, or three pallets to this one, two pallets to that one. Either way, I'm, either way, I'm dropping off five pallets. I'm gonna get out of here before more people have ideas of blocking the place up. Like this van is trying to do. Not that one, this one by my side here. There we go. People are starting to start work now. Oof. Energy's picking up as well. That's good. Right, now I gotta backtrack to somewhere where I was kind of passing, basically by the bridge in Chepstow. Because about two minutes ago, they started work. Hey, check it out, man. We got daylight. Well, the lorries from the place I'm going are leaving. Which I'm assuming means the gate's open. I'll watch now. I'll go to the same place I went before and I'll be like, no, nope, wrong place. God damn it. Let's see, is there anyone on the bay? That Scania. Yeah, he's that. The one from Bristol. Damn it. That means there's no easy bay for me. Oh, god damn it. Scania driver from Bristol who followed me from Harwich, or I followed him from Harwich. Well, let's get the paperwork again and... Well, actually, this might not be too bad. Yeah, I can get in there. I can get on that bay. No problem at all. I can put her down a farm track, no problem. Stick her on a bay. We start to sweat a bit. Whew. Done by you. Uh, just over an hour. I turned up here at exactly the right time. Because immediately after I turned up, three lorries showed up one after each other. Ba 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 bam. And uh, the three of us that were already on the bay all got off the bay together. So I don't know how long uh, my Scania friend was uh, on the bay for. Because he came straight from Bristol to here. So I imagine he was there a fair bit. Next stop is Lidl Bridgend. Apparently I'm meeting a driver there to take over from me at nine o'clock. But anyway, I would like to thank you all for watching this video. Might have been a short one. It was kind of a ba 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 bum kind of video. Actually, I've got a feeling I've attached this to the end of a green video, haven't I? The content that gets published is not necessarily in timeline order. But we get there in the end, we get there in the end. So thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.